That's my.
Francisco. Last ball of this over, 20 runs on the board without losing a wicket, easy for the college. Already a chance going down. We'll take a single to end the over. Five overs completed. Easy path to the college. 21 without losing a wicket. College, the two openers, Net Silva and Navin Kanishka, going around nicely. 21 runs on the board in the first five overs. There's most of them coming through uh, extras, but they will take that. So Jivaka Shashin will continue the bowling from the scoreboard end. Yes, and I call it perfect. Uh, a ground and environment and weather for cricket here at Colombo, in the heart of Colombo. You've seen on our college grounds in the midst of uh, many other grounds here in Colombo, in this part of the Colombo. We have MCA just around the corner, we have NCC, we have SSC. Take a single there, Knavin Kanishka. Falling to the pad, Jivaka Shashin. Now, it's important now, already five overs completed, and these two fast bowlers, by now, they should know what to do and uh, how to accumulate pressure onto these two batsmen because five overs is enough for for a good fast bowlers to identify the situation, to see how the how the pitch works and how these batsmen, batsmen are reacting. And so far, we've seen far, uh, short pitch deliveries coming in handy, not showing much uh, of aggressiveness. These two batsmen, because of the fact that runs came in without any interruptions through extras. Again, pitching outside the off stump, but on a much better line. And Edsara Silva once again fails to, to connect. We haven't seen much of aggressiveness from these two batsmen. Now, Jivikish Hashin is not much express compared with the Pavan Sandesh. But uh, so far he has bowled in good areas, just giving away just three runs, bowling his third over, 2.5 overs. Now that's down the ground. And a boundary. So first boundary for Isipatana College comes... Uh, with the bat of Netsara Silva, punching it down the ground without any effort. So 26 runs on the board without losing a wicket after 6 overs. Now looking at the bowling performances, Pavan Sandesh, 3 overs, 18 without losing a wicket. And Jivaka Shashin, bowling, has bowled 3 overs, giving away just uh, 7 runs.
Bella vez. Good run, that's right, that's right. Yeah, my daughter's here. Three more deliveries to go in this over, 39 runs on the board. Chip away, we'll uh, take another single there, good cricket all round from these two batsmen, Netzar Silva and uh, Naveen Kanishka. 39 runs uh, without losing a wicket. Two more deliveries to go in this over. Jivika Shashin bowling his fourth over, none for nine. Being, uh, being the dominant uh, fast bowler from this scoreboard end. Now looking at the bowling performances of Deva Pakiraju College prior to this uh, match. Sasanka Nirmal is the highest wicket taker for 
Deo Patiraja College taking uh, 10 wickets with best figures of 5 for 27. So far he's, uh, he's yet to be introduced into this match uh, from uh, Deo Patiraja College. And in terms of uh, batting, it's uh, Tarushanet Sara, the opening batsman. Uh, it's Tarushanet Sara, the most, more, the highest run scorer for Isipatana College in this tournament. 209 runs on the board in five innings with 90 as the highest score in the tournament for Tarushanet Sara. That is, of course, Netzar Silva, who is opening the batting for Isipatana College. Two of us. 42 runs on the board. Easy Patana College going on nicely at the moment. Right, so uh, we had a small technical issue right throughout the morning. But now it's all sorted out and. Uh, so wishing you all a very good morning once again, live from DSNMR College Grounds, the Patsman.com, the official live broadcaster of this 2020-21 uh, school cricket season, bringing you the uh, the third quarterfinals of this under-19 Division 1 Tier B tournament. Isipatana College taking up against uh, Devapathiraj College Radgama. So far it's been a, it's been a good... Uh, hour or so for Isipatana College with the bat 44 runs on the board without losing a wicket Netsar Silva and Naveen Kanishka doing their job as the openers we've, we've seen that the two fast bowlers operating from the two ends in the first uh, five overs been a bit wayward with their line and lengths uh, too much wides given away as well took the pressure away from these two batsmen allowed them to settle in the middle and now these two batsmen going going on nicely, especially Naveen Kanishka who's scoring at uh, uh, 22 of just 35 deliveries. And Netsar Silva taking his time. He's the highest run scorer of the tournament as well for Isipatana College with 209 runs on the on the trot for Netsar. So he's he's taking his time as well. 10 of 19 deliveries. So once again a very good morning. Uh, we're bringing another match as well at St. Sebastian's College grounds the, the, the final quarterfinals or the fourth quarterfinals of the Azanda 19 Division 1 Tier B tournament it's Mahindu College goal taken up against St. Joseph Pass College at St. Sebastian's College grounds so the, the batsman.com is bringing you that match as well live from St. Sebastian's College uh, Morotua 
So, uh, talking about the toss, uh, Isi Patana College they won the toss, went in the favour of Temidu Dikwella, the, the skipper of uh, Isi Patana College, and they decided to back first. That has been their strategy throughout this tournament. Backing first, setting up a good total, then giving that pressure with their bowling attack. Now, that is punched down the ground. They got the protection, will be just a single. And the two umpires out in the middle for this quarterfinals, Kamini Gunasekar and Indunil Duluvila. Very well experienced umpires out in the middle for this quarterfinals. Jeevak Shashid. He's calling his fifth over. Number 12. He's been consistent with his Daniel Lens, unlike his partner Pawan Sandesh. completed this Patana College now 52 without losing a wicket. Now having a look at the first 10 overs and how things went for Easy Patana College in this first 10 overs, uh, runs uh, came in without any uh, pressure for Easy Patana College with all with more than 10 wides uh, in the first inside the first three overs and allowed these two batsmen to settle in and get used to these conditions at the SNNI College grounds and, 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 and that is exactly what they did. So the batsman.com is the leading uh, website, stats website when it comes to Sri Lanka school cricket, McIntyre cricket and uh, was uh, School cricket being our primary focus, batsman.com bringing you all these live actions from uh, different parts of uh, Sri 
Sri Lanka School Cricket Association. Now projected scores uh, at the current rate at 4.73. They will get to 236. So they will aim at just about uh, 250 run mark. Would get them to a, to a safe, uh, safe level in this match. But of course, uh, there's a uh, long way to go. But uh, these two opening batsmen have set the platform for the rest of the batsmen of Visi Patan College to come in and play their innings and get this uh, Visi Patan College total to a flying. Uh, the batsman.com we're bringing you live actions uh, so you can advertise with us, get a, 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 a good advertising uh, strategy through our batsman.com, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook and uh, many other social medias with many people tuning in for their school cricket matches, mercantile matches and many other cricket related uh, live broadcasts. You can advertise with us, get your product or service to the hands of these people who are watching the, the live broadcast. That will be a wide there. Aman Taha, the new man in for Easy Patra College, 101 runs in uh, two innings uh, for the young man. Navin Kanishka going for 23 runs of uh, 38 deliveries. Chami the Sandarwan getting the breakthrough for uh, their Patiraja College.
under 19 Division 1 tournament, the Tier B quarterfinals. We had uh, uh, two quarterfinals yesterday. Anand the College beating St. Anthony's Wattal and Dharmashoka College beating St. Peter's College by five wickets. So Anand and the Dharmashoka, they're now in the semi finals of the under 19 Division 1 Tier B tournament. And uh, winner of this encounter, so either Isipatana College or Devapatiraja College, will meet. Uh, Dharmashoka College in the semi-finals and uh, Anand the College will meet either Mahinda College or St. Joseph Vaz College in their semi-finals the winner of these two quarterfinals, the one we are bringing you, the two we are bringing you live, Saint Sebastian at Saint Sebastian College grounds and uh, DSN and I College grounds. So the winners will go through to the semi-finals, and the losers will be out of the tournament. So the two spinners taking uh, Deva Patiraj College back into this game. Now uh, the Tier B tournament being a competitive uh, uh, tournament, the most runs when it comes to uh, runs scored, it's Pavan Sandesh who started off bowling for Deva Patiraj College, who's the highest run scorer, 306 runs, a good all-rounder for Deva Patiraj College in five matches with an average of 76, a highest score of 138. Diniru Abe uh, Vikramasinghe, since Servatius College Matra, the second highest run scorer, 288 runs. And Kausit uh, Sanket with 268 runs of Mahinda College. And Avish Katalin, the St. Anthony's College, 241 runs uh, in six innings. And Sadipa Halanga, the St. Sylvester's College Candy with uh, 241 runs in five innings. Uh, that is interesting to see Deva Patiraja College they're having the, the highest run score in the tournament in their uh, possession. So uh, it, it'll be interesting to see what their approach is. And asking the question, the wicket keeper, very keen. Thought he got a nick off, uh, of the bat of Aman Taha, but uh, yes, the, the conf there should be some confidence with. Uh, with the Patiraj College, considering the fact that they have uh, the highest run score of the tournament in their possession, so it'll be important for them uh, to restrict this UC Patana College, maybe around 200 run mark, or maybe less. We ne we'll never know how things will turn up for the Patiraj. They already got a wicket uh, very recently, so if they restrict UC Patana College. For a below par total, there's a good chance for their Patiraj College to, ch to chase down that target. So Navin Kanishka, the only wicket to fall, 23 runs for him. Isipatana College unbeaten in the in the first round, winning five out of their five games. Deva Patiraj, of course, lost one game against uh, Saint, that was against in uh, Saint Anthony's College Wattala. Now, talking about Pavan Sandesh, he started off the bowling for Deva Patiraj College, but. Uh, Hasn't been the best of the starts for Sandesh with the ball bowling a bit too wavered with his uh, line and lens. So talking about the bowling, see we go the most wickets in the under-19 Division One tournament, the Tier B. Sahan uh, Sankalpa of Dharmashoka College, Ambalangoda, with 16 wickets in six matches, and Dohana Roshan as well, a very much experienced campaign of Dharmashoka College with 15 wickets. Ramesh Surangas and Anthony's with 13 wickets, Sasanka Netmino with 13, and Isru Aish of uh, Ananda College 
with 11 wickets in six matches. Another college in the semi finals in this tier B tournament. Oh, was that a chance? Now, the body language of that uh, slip fielder and the wicket keeper says so. Just on the bounds, or maybe a bit too low for the for the for the fielder to reach. But uh, those are inter uh, uh, interesting phases of the game. Already, we've seen uh, one dropped catch, maybe in the fifth or the sixth over. The ball went high up in the air. Now asking the question. signal by the umpire last ball of this over good over from uh, Chaminda on the ground will be a single there from uh, from Nets at the Silva to win the over 14 overs completed 57 without losing a wicket Opi Darua, Jati Kandam, New Janaker, and the Krida Kikukaranata, Sina Takin de Bopiani, Enna, Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Garea, Borale, the Chan Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Mapianaganda, the Chan Sports Borella. Darshaka will continue. Fifty nine runs on the board at the end of uh, over number fifteen for Easy Patana College. Nets have a Silva and Amantaha going on nicely. Amantaha, of course, yet to get off the mark, uh, facing fourteen deliveries. Now we're talking about the Sri Lanka School Cricket Association. This is under nineteen division one tournament 
uh, the, the last year or the 2019-20 season came to a pre, uh, premature end as a coronavirus uh, pandemic came into play. But uh, Sri Lanka School Cricket Association adopted to this situation really well and uh, uh, they were not afraid to, to take or to make some changes to the to the current system which is which is good to see the administration of Sri Lanka School Cricket Association so they decided to uh, to, uh, to play the tournament as a one day in the one day format rather than the two day format of course considering the situation in the country the health situation because the the safety or the health of these players, these school children. It's the first priority of Sri Lanka School Cricket Association. So they have taken steps to to continue this tournament as as a one day tournament, the, the under nineteen division one tournament. And of course, in the meantime, they've decided to to continue this tournament as tier A and tier B tournament to break down division 1 and division 2 into two further subgroups to increase the competitiveness of the tournament and those are really good uh, strategies or, or tactics taken by Sri Lanka School Cricket Association and that is really good to see so they have taken the steps to to increase or to build up the Sri Lanka school cricket that will eventually make Sri Lanka cricket much better in the near future these these players they are the ones who are going to play for Sri Lanka someday so it's important that they're playing in tougher conditions in much competitive environments and that's another boundary and this time it's Aman Taha who has uh, started his scoring with the boundary. So that is good positive uh, strategy from Aman Taha. So 16 overs completed, it's 64 without losing. Uh, for the loss of one, we can beg you Navin Kanishka is the only wicket to fill so far, 23 runs for him. So the introduction of spinners working well for Deva Patiraja College. As I mentioned earlier, the two fast bowlers uh, they haven't been up to their mark in, in, in terms of uh, line and length.
So the higher, the the most wicket taker for Dev Patiraj College, Sasanka Nirmal, is yet to be introduced by the captain. So he's he's keeping he ke his uh, ace bowler or maybe the star bowler of the tournament as the last resort, maybe. So ten wickets for him with best wickets of five for twenty-seven. a good shot there and it's gone all the way for a boundary Tarush Red 25 runs uh, in 43 deliveries with three fours up to his name He's been a good touch. The opening partnership of 50 runs uh, between him and the other opening batsman of uh, Dharma Shuk College. A big part in Patna College. So 17 overs completed, 71 runs on the board. The loss of one wicket, a good start for Easy Patna College in this uh, quarter finals. Easy Patna College unbeaten throughout this tournament so far and now it's uh, Sasank Nirmal has been introduced uh, to bowl now this little this could be an interesting phase of the game because obviously the the uh, the, the motive behind the introduction of uh, Sasank Nirmal is to take some wickets and he, it's important that he delivers uh, at the right time for their Patiraj College. They've been relying on him for most of the tournament with the ball, taking 10 wickets. He's got good height as well for a spinner. Netsaro Silva is the highest run scorer of the tournament for Easy Patana College. 209 runs in 5 innings with 90 as the highest score. So he's still out there in the middle for Easy Patana College. So that is really important. So his survival out in the middle will uh, will decide the fate of Easy Patana College in an ideal situation. So it's important that he's uh, He's continuing the, what he's doing at the moment, just uh, rotating the, the strike and waiting for that odd ball to go for that shot. That has been the strategy for him throughout this tournament and uh, that has worked out well for him. He has uh, scored the uh, highest runs uh, for Isipatana with 90 as the highest score. So there we go, Sasanka Nirmal, the introduction of Sasanka Nirmal coming into play straight away, uh, picking up uh, the wicket of Vaman Taha. There we go, Vaman Taha going for six, Irushka Timira taking the catch and the introduction of Sasanka Nirmal once again coming very handy. So as I mentioned earlier, the motive behind the introduction of Sasanka Nirmal is to take wickets. He has done that in his very first over. So 18 overs completed in 73.
Samandir Utsara, new man in for Isipatana College. 89 runs in four innings for him. Edinov has completed uh, two runs uh, on the board. Beg your pardon, two runs in the last over and a wicket from uh, Sosanka. That'll be a wide to start off. Fifteen whites so far in this first uh, eighteen overs, and majority of uh, of those whites came in the f came in the first uh, seven to eight overs, where the two fast bowlers bowled. Will. Yes, it will. Those are unnecessary. I think it didn't run away for a boundary there. Yes. Two runs on the board could work in the, f in, the in the field, but uh, nevertheless, those are unnecessary things uh, to do when it comes to uh, to the fielding unit. You have to have a good backup uh, whenever there's a. The chance of uh, getting a direct hit and run out. Those are basic things. Now, when it comes to batting, of course, you have to have good communication skills as well. This I mentioned earlier as well, because uh, when the uh, the two openers were batting, there were some confusions between the two batsmen, whether to go for a run. The the calls were not clear, and. Uh, to, to, to be a complete batsman you should have a good communication skills as well with your partner at the other end whether to go for a run you should have good understanding especially when it comes to opening because the opening pairs of a, of a team they're sort of permanent positions you're given that opening slot because you can face the new ball you can wear it out and bat for a long period of time so when it comes to batting for a long period of time, it's important that you're having good uh, communication with, with your partner. That will come in handy when it comes to building an inning. So Isipatana College at the current rate will get them to 200 runs in uh, 50 overs. So I think uh, they will try to go beyond that, maybe around 250 run mark. As you can see, for, uh, for them to do that, they need to go at around five and a half to six runs per over. But at this stage, I don't see any uh, reason for Isipatana College to take uh, risks and go for some shots and to accelerate their uh, scoring rate. Because now they're up against spinners and uh, Netsar Silva and Samidu Utsar being the uh, new man in for Isipatana College. Need to, they need to build around Netsar Silva. That has been their strategy throughout this tournament. Netsar Silva, the highest run scorer with 209 runs. And uh, the rest of the batsmen should bat around him and get this Isipatana College innings to a flying total at the end of their 50 overs. Now, if they can do that, there's a big chance uh, uh, for them to to reserve their position in the semi-finals of this under-19 Division 1 Tier B tournament.
Oh, that's a good ball there from Sosankar. Now he's 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 taking his uh, height for his advantage. Good ball once again. Sudhir Veeraratne doing his job. Now this is a phase of uh, of any match that will change the direction because the first in overs there's no there's a uh, field restrictions and the fast bowlers bowling bowling uh, and the ball coming into bat very nicely. And the batsman can settle down. The two openers they're used to these conditions. Yes, but these. Times these these this phase of the game these middle overs when spinners come into play that is really important for any team because if they can survive these last few over, these uh, middle overs then it's all about the last 10 to 15 overs they can accelerate they have to preserve their wickets so that in the last 10 to 15 overs the batsman can go around and play some shots get some runs on the board quickly as possible so these middle overs they're very very important for any for any team who's batting now it's all about surviving getting runs on the board taking six seven runs per over will will, will get them to a good total so to get that six runs is yes, six singles will do but when it comes to that hot ball you have to go for the boundary you have to see the opportunities to go for boundaries without taking any risks that is the important thing that is how a good batsman should uh, build up his innings and Netsar Silva is is ideal for a situation like that he knows uh, how to play big innings he knows uh, how to uh, take the advantage of these conditions and how to tackle the situations when it comes to spinners in these middle overs so if he if, if can do that here in this quarterfinals, then there's a big chance that Isipathana College is going to take or to reserve their position in the semi-finals. So Netsar Silva, 31 of 57. Amantaha, 6 of 25. He's the, the latest wicket. But of course, Deva Pataraj College also, they have a strong batting unit. The highest run score of the tournament is with them. So these middle overs, if they can get another 2-3 wickets, they don't need much of work. They, if, he, if they can take two three wickets be very sharp being very sharp in the field and taking those chances we saw a drop catch as well maybe two there was a close chance inside the 30 yard circle but uh, that in the first five overs we saw a genuine effort going down so if, if they can be a bit more sharp in the field and considering how well the two spinners are bowling from the two ends if they can get another two wickets in the oh that's a good that's a good ball and it's gone that is exactly what i mentioned sasanka nirmal once again taking the wicket taking that breakthrough for deva patiraj college he's been the star performer for them throughout the tournament and now in the quarterfinals as well he's finding 
that uh, wicket taking delivery is very much often than rest of the bowlers so the third wicket goes down for Isi Patana College 84 for the loss of three wickets and it's the Sid batsman Tarushanet Sarasilva who's gone for 31 runs of 59 deliveries and now Isi Patana College 84 for the loss of three wickets ओपे दरुआ जातिर कांडे में न्यूज़ ने करने क्रीड़ा के गुकरान नेट सीन दाखिन दिवाओ पियानी इन्ह आसिया वे विशाल तम क्रीड़ा बांड प्रदर्शन का रहा बुरेले द चांस स्पोर्ट्स वेतिन वासरक वागा कीम अंधम पियाना कांडे द चांस स्पोर्ट्स बुरेले Nirmal picking up his second wicket for six now. Already 12, 12 wickets in the tournament for him. Back for the second run, low meter Ravindit, the new man in, and he's gone all the way for a boundary. So he starts off his uh, scoring in this quarterfinals with a boundary. That is a good start. Patiraj College uh, with their bowling, Sasanka Nirmal being uh, the dominant force with the ball, picking up two wickets, which is 10 runs.
between the wickets. Nelson Silva with the latest wicket. He's, he went for 31 runs. Navin Kanishka scored 23 runs of 38 deliveries. And it was Aman, Aman Taha who was the next batsman to, to return to the pavilion cheaply for 6 of 25 deliveries. The opening partnership between uh, Net Sarah Silva and Navin Khanishka was worth uh, 53 runs. That set the platform perfectly for the rest of the batsmen to come in, but uh, they lost two wickets uh, quick in quick succession. That uh, took the Patirati College to the uh, to the front seat of this game. No ball, signal by the umpire. A free hit for Samindu Utsara. Straight into the hands of the fielder, going back and uh, batsman safely inside. Thought that there was a chance there, but, but the ball came in without a bounce, straight into the hands of the fielder. And Samindu Utsara not getting the maximum out of uh, the advantages of the no ball Sankar Nirmal now, you are seeing why he's the highest wicket taker of four uh, there at Patiraja College because so far he's been bowling in some brilliant areas, giving a hard time for these uh, batsmen to uh, to settle down. He's taking his height for the, for the best uh, advantage, tossing it up in the air and giving uh, uh, air for the for the for the for the ball to spin as much as possible. That will be the end of the over. 24 overs completed and DC Patana College 94 for the last of three weekends. you can uh, advertise with us the batsman.com the, the, the official broadcaster of this 2020-21 uh, 
school cricket season. We're bringing you the live actions, the contents, photos and everything. So you can advertise with us and get your product or service into the hands of uh, the thousands of people who are turning or tuning in to watch these matches and uh, photos, contents and everything on batsman.com. So contact us now to get... Uh, uh, some great offers for your advertising purposes with uh, with batsman.com so of course uh, the batsman.com the premier school cricket or cricket stat website in sri lanka bringing you these live pictures from dsn and our college we're bringing another match as well from St. Sebastian's College Grounds, uh, the, the other or the final quarterfinals of this TRB tournament between Mahindra College and uh, St. Joseph Paz College. That's down the ground and it's gone all the way for a boundary. That's a good shot there from uh, Lomita. Thank you, partner. It was uh, Savindu. Played it down the ground. Not much effort there, just pure timing, just uh, guiding it down the ground. Uh, most of the batsmen tend to go down the ground because uh, don't need much effort compared to hitting it uh, through the on of the offside just pushing it 
down the ground will do cut away straight into the hands of the fielder bit of confusion low meter halfway down the track Half it uh, through this uh, first innings, 26th over. We are in the 27th over. on the ground would be just a single good work uh, down in the deep Irushka Timira balling his second open and for six runs Sasanka has been the, the, the standard performer out of the lot for Devapati Raja College with the ball the highest wicket take of the tournament for for them now only 12 wickets up to his name. That's gone. That is very unfortunate and I don't see a reason for Lomita to play a shot like that straight into the hands of the fielder. He knew exactly where the fielder was still. He couldn't play it away from the fielder. Good ball in from Irushka. He's, uh, he's not afraid to toss it up and pitch it in the full length area. Inviting the batsman to go for the drive and uh, he got the breakthrough. Lomita Ravind had gone for 13 of 19. Irushka Timira taking the breakthrough for Devapati Raj College. Now it's Four down for Easy Patana College for 106 runs. Randuru Ganganatha Idrissing is the new man in for Easy Patana College. Number six for Isi Patana. Last ball of this over, a good over from Irushka. Irushika, I beg your pardon. See, what he did was he continuously bowled outside the off stump at full length, uh, full length areas, invited the batsman to go for a few runs. He knew that, yeah, he might go for a few runs, he might go for a boundary, an odd boundary, but there was that option of getting the wicket and that is exactly how things ended up for Irushika. He took the wicket and he continuously bowled in that area and that is really important as a spinner. You might go for a few runs, yes, you, you might go for some big shots but as a spinner you have the ability to deceive the batsman. Invited, inviting the batsman to play some strokes will, will make uh, the batsman to do some errors. 
that is exactly what Iru Shikha did. Right, so Izzy Patana College, 27 overs done. Now there are 106 runs for the loss of four wickets. Now this is a very interesting period for Izzy Patana College because if they lose another two wickets or maybe one wicket in, in the next uh, three to four overs, then things will be completely different because then Deva Patiraja College will have the upper, upper hand. At the moment, Deva Patiraja College they already took four wickets, but the game is evenly poised at the moment between Isipatana and Deva Pati Raja. Because if Isipatana can get another maybe 80 90 runs before losing another two wickets, then they're in a very good position. They, they have plenty of overs remaining, just 27 overs completed. They have six wickets remaining as well. So it is important for Isipatana College that these two batsmen are building up that vital partnership for them. Uh, to get them to a good uh, total at the end of the 50 overs and playing the 50 overs that is important as well so these spinners they will be a threat of course they have been a threat for many teams in the tournament but is it college they're unbeaten in the tournament they have uh, faced these sort of uh, situations throughout this tournament so they know how to handle these situations that is really important so it'll be interesting to see that is what we expect from a quarter finals isn't it Now, Batsman.com is the best way to build your brand here in Sri Lanka. We're bringing live uh, broadcast all around Sri Lanka. So, if they can, if you can advertise with us, then you can get some great advantages as well. So, contact us now to get some great offers. And of course, uh, our open invitation to all uh, the media units of uh, uh, Sri Lanka schools. We 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 know how strong they are. We know how uh, enthusiastic they are when it comes to. Uh, making uh, or giving uh, the live broadcast of these matches so if they can join with us the batsman.com we are more than happy to give them the support to give them the assistance to give them the the necessary infrastructure if they can join with us at the batsman.com we, we uh, they can have some uh, great exposure these school children who are in the media field the media units of uh, of the of, of these of those colleges can can uh, contact us and join with us to bring the, the matches of your school, the live broadcasts of, of your school matches, the big matches or any sort of matches. So don't hesitate to call us, contact us, thebatsman.com and uh, we'll give you the support, we'll give you the guidance uh, to bring the, 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 the live pictures from your school college grounds to the whole world. So contact us now, thebatsman.com, email us, call us. We are all open for your suggestions and for your assistance as well. So join with us, batsman.com, the, the, the premier uh, stats provider for Sri Lanka cricket, Sri Lanka school cricket, do uh, domestic, mercantile, in any format of the game. We're bringing you live uh, uh, pictures as well. We are the official broadcasters of the... School Cricket, Sri Lanka School Cricket Association, the school cricket season for the 2020-21. Photos, contents and everything will bring you of this uh, under-19 Division 1 tournament. Not only that, Division 2 tournament, the Tier A, Tier B separately and of course uh, the girls tournament as well. So we're, we're giving equal opportunities for both male and females, for both girls and boys to to showcase their talents to the world and that is what we've been doing for the past few years as well the batsman.com and we continue oh now that's gone no chance whatsoever for Randunu Gangana to come back good sharp work behind the stumps Irushika Timira picking up his second wicket he saw the batsman coming down the pitch so he he intentionally went a bit wide and a good work from the wicketkeeper that is really sharp work because he had a fraction of a second before Randurugang he he turned he turned to the other way and it was just before he 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 uh, contacted his bat 
to the ground. So Randuru Kanganathe the single gone for one of four deliveries and now it's five down. Easy Patana College. Opi Darua, Jati Kandam New Janaker and a Krida Kikukaranata, Sina Dakin de Bopiani, in Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradeshana Garea, Borale, the Chance Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Pianaganda, the Chance Sports Borella. Five wicket down half the team back in the pavilion, Tevin the Dikpal, the skipper coming into play. Seventy four runs. Tarindu Rikshan behind the stumps. Doing his job. Very sharp work. That is a very commendable effort from the wicket keeper. It is good to see the fielders, the wicket keeper giving that support for the bowlers. Right. Now this is really important. Five wickets down, 110 rounds on the board. Two fairly new batsmen. Some in the woods, 15 of 27. Tarindu Dikkal can bat. He's a skipper. There's a lot of pressure. Single taken, they will do the equal of the mark. Last goal of this over. A sharp turn there for Irushika, ball wide by the umpire. Asking the question, uh, wicket keeper very good behind the stumps once again. And 29 overs completed, 112 uh, for the loss of five wickets. Twenty-nine overs completed, one hundred and twelve runs on the board for the loss of five wickets. Timothy Dikpala and Samindu Utsara. They should build up a partnership here. Turn on offer for for the spinners in these conditions. Well, that's a good ball once again, wide outside the off stump. Tim Dudikala reaching for the ball.
Last ball of this over coming up, just one run from uh, this over from Sudhir Weeratne. Well, in his fifth over, number 15. up in there is it going to be a wicket fielder coming under it and an easy catch that is an easy catch now was that necessary something the Utsara now he just simply just threw his wicket away simple as that he was straight up in there no timing at all not much strength on offer as well and uh, Easy Path and the College is losing their way. Some in the Uts are gone for 15 of 29. He was trying to go for the big shot, but didn't quite get uh, the, the right contact for it to travel all the way. He didn't even go past the 30 yard circle, I guess. So some in the Uts are gone for 15 of 29 deliveries. Thirty overs completed. The Easy Path of the College, 113, and it's Thamia Netpika Gunaratna who's out in the middle. Four Easy Path of the College. Now they're in trouble. They are in deep trouble at the moment. In the quarterfinals of this Under-19 Division One Tier B tournament, they need to get out of this situation. They have their captain at disposal. Two of seven. Thamia Gunaratna can bat. Can bat. So it's important that these two batsmen shot that is a really good shot from Temi Gunnarath the first ball he faced and it's a six the first six of the innings goes to Temi Gunnarath need few more of those
31 overs completed, AC Patan College 124, the loss of 6 wickets. Okay, now, AC Patan College batting uh, scorecard so far 120 runs on the board for the loss of 6 wickets. Uh, Net set of silver, highest run scorer for AC Patan, 31 runs of 59 deliveries, but th they lost wickets in quick succession. If it's that opening partnership of 50 runs, uh, uh, between the opening pair of Visi Patan College that got them to a, a good uh, start but uh, soon after that uh, they lost wickets in, 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 in quick successions and uh, uh, things didn't go well since then for Visi Patan College Right, so Thevindu Dikwale is on strike the edge. Two runs uh, taken. Now that's a good shot there. Gone all the way for a six. Temi Gunaratna showing some real power. That is his second six. Remember, he just faced uh, eight deliveries now. And he's playing it uh, with such a handsome stroke there from Temi Gunaratna. Two hours completed is Batana College 129 for the loss of six wickets. Projected scores uh, for Isi Patana current rate 4.03, they will get to 200 run mark. So they'll be pretty happy with that effort given the fact that they have lost six wickets already. Eight runs per over will get them to 273, they'll be more than happy. But it's a long, long way to go for Isi Patana.
on the ground and it will run away for a boundary once again Demi Guneratna getting a good contact off the bat and all the way for a boundary Deva Patriarchi College coming into this match with the, with the help of the spinners. There is not a surprise at all. These subcontinent features, the spinners have a big role to play. And uh, so far, Deva Patriarchi bowlers uh, have done really well. Uh, let's see if they can finish things off. Kavindu Amandi is the new man in for Isipatana College. Six years, 76 runs in training so with a high score of 50. He can bat. And now, I, I think we can remember he's an opening batsman. So he is a genuine batsman. So Isipatana College now will rely on him for the most part of the game. We are in the 34th over after this over. We'll have uh, 16 more overs to go. So those overs are very crucial. Not the ideal position where Isipatana College would want to be. 
at the end of uh, maybe around 35th over uh, they would fancy having uh, what maybe around five wickets in hand but at the moment they only have three there's 16 more overs to go so they have to play it safely they have to get the run somehow and playing it safely without taking any risks is the way to go so the introduction of leg spinner but well for their Patiraja College, Mataji Saranga, picking up uh, a wicket in his very first over. Last ball of this over, good over from uh, Matisha. He's bowling wicket to wicket. And an over. We've seen round uh, three or four no balls so far. And that's a boundary as well, so a good strike there from Kavidu Amanta. on the ground will be just a single so that'll be the end of the over 34 uh, overs completed it's 142 for the last seven minutes. So Irushi Katimira will continue his bowling. 34 overs, 142 runs on the board for the last seven wickets. Two wickets already for, for him, bowling his sixth over, two for 23. Chance The <laughs>
අපේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සීන දකින්න තිබෝ පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල close to the stumps just inches of the thirty six overs is now completed and easy button the college hundred and forty five for loss of eight pickets.
Rishika will continue. A single taken there from uh, Thevindu uh, Dikwal. The captain is still out in the middle. Uh, has injured his uh, his hand there, as you can see that blue straps. So he usually opens the batting for Zipadar College. Now uh, this. Under 19 Division 1 Tier B tournament. At the latter stage, stage of the tournament. We got on the college and uh, Dharma Shukri College already in the semi finals. So the winners of uh, today's game. Will be either Dea Pathiraj College or Isi Patana. We'll meet Dharma Shukri College in the semi finals and. Uh, Either Mahinda College or St. Joseph Pass College will meet Ananda College in the second semi final. So, after that, the winners of the two semi finals will meet in the finals. We have our champions. Seven hours completed 148 for the last of eight minutes. This is for the college. There's 30 more hours to go. Two sixes, uh, 12 forwards up to their name as well as scoring all around the ground. This is for the college, uh, but not in a position that they would like to end up in uh, this latter stage of, uh, of the innings. Uh,
after Thevindu Dikkal uh, turned him down, rushed to the other end, good running from uh, Situ Kagunavardhana. And then the, the throw was a bit wide as well. So, uh, Sasan Kadirmal had to reach for the ball and he, he ended up doing well but it was just a bit too late. It was surprising Tivu Dikvella didn't even go for the run. River Sweep coming into play. tells you this tells you how Ishipatana College have been out in the middle with the bat they've been careless with their batting gave away wickets easy catches and they ended up uh, scoring 151 runs now Nikhil I beg your pardon Situka Nimsit Gunavardhana he was never going back to that end he was so close so he's gone for a duck and now Isipatana College 151 runs for the loss of 10 wickets. So we'll see how things will turn up. We, we saw how, what uh, spinners can, uh, uh, can get out of these conditions. So it'll be interesting to see how the spinners of Isipatana College will uh, use these conditions to, to tackle their, their opposition. But Devapati Raj College, they know how things are working at the moment so they know how to how to bat carefully so it's just 151 runs if they can bat the 50 overs they can get to this total very very easily so it's just about preserving wickets wickets for the for the latter part of the game and surviving out in the middle getting used to the conditions now looking at the batting Netzer Silva is the highest run scorer of four is in the college 31 of 59 and Nabin Kanshko also scored 23 runs for 30 uh, of 38 deliveries but rest of the batsman but not able uh, to get uh, a good scores for Easy Patra College with the bat. Now they were Patraja College in the first uh, eight overs the fast bowlers were a bit wavered in their line and lane so the opening partnership was 50 runs uh, for Easy Patra College but soon after that 10th over the spinners came in and they took the control of the game. So uh, in terms of partnership as I mentioned earlier that opening partnership of 53 runs of 67 deliveries between Netzara Silva and Kavi Naveen Kanishka really set the platform for Isipatana College to go for a big score but right after as I mentioned earlier the spinners came into play and they took the wickets in quick succession and it was never uh, the Isipatana College stay out in the middle again what I mentioned earlier the first 10 overs going in the way of Isipatana but just after that as you can see the wickets started to collapse one by one and uh, Isipatana College they never recovered after that 10th over and it was 151 runs in 39.5 overs. So the advantages at the moment are with Deva Patiraj College. Two sixes and 12 fours for Easy Patani in these 39.5 overs in their 151 runs. But uh, we'll see how things will turn up. Easy Patani College, they have a, a good bowling attack. Uh, they've been uh, good with their ball in the, in the tournament. So 151 runs. We'll see. We'll see whether it's going to be enough for them to uh, to reserve their position in the semi-finals uh, against Dharma Shoka College. So, their Patraj College will only need 152 runs to uh, to win this match, and uh, we'll be back in another 10 minutes. Ope Darua, Jati Kandam, New Jenaker, and a Krida Kikukaranata, see the Takin at the Bobbiani, in Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound of Pradashana Garea, Borale, the Chan Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Mapianaganda, the Chan Sports Borella.
ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සීන දකින්න තිබව් පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ ද චාන් ස්පෝට්ස් වෙතින් වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න ද චාන් ස්පෝට්ස් බොරැල්ල
කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සිහින දකින්න දෙමව පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ ද චාන්ස් ස්පෝට්ස් වෙතින් වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න ද චාන්ස් ස්පෝට්ස් බොරැල්ල So he is in a very good form. So he'll be the crucial man for uh, their Patiraja College if, they, if, if their chase is tied down. But nothing to take away from these two uh, openers. Uh, they've been uh, doing well for their school throughout this uh, tournament, setting up some good uh, opening partnerships. So here we go. The run chase is on. Their Patiraja College. We'll start off with a boundary. That's a good start. some good positivity from uh, their Patiraj colleges. They only need 152 runs to win this match but still the 
trying to get some runs on the board which is good to see so then it the Prabanka is on strike for the first time Ball of this over coming up. So that will be the end of the over. First over done. Here at the Raj College, five with nothing else. The Nuganganap will continue. Start of proceedings from the scoreboard end. Question: Nothing from uh, from the two uh, the, the umpire.
the off stump, which is good to see. This is the, uh, the decency we, we didn't see from uh, Dharma, uh, I beg your pardon, Deva Pathiraj College. Two opening bowlers, they, their liner lengths were a bit wavered, but uh, this is College, they're much more decent. Their bowling has been there so far, these two overs and two fast bowlers. They're up to their mark. on the ground there once again uh, showing any intentions to uh, so most runs in the tournament Pavan Sandesh of Dev Patiraj College is the highest run scorer of the tournament with 306 runs in 5 innings Didi Ruabe Vikram Singh at the second place with 288 runs. So Pavan Sandesh now have the opportunity to increase it much more. Those in Khausin Sankh at the 268 runs from Matthew College. Avishka Karnak is in Anthony's path to return to Port Pan, Sadi Palangoda. And number 5 in 204 run runs. Last ball of this over. 13 runs on the board. That will be a top ball to end the over. Three overs completed 13 without loss.
terms of wickets in this in the in the in the tournament Sahan Sankalpa of Dharma Shooting College of Langoda has the highest wickets of 16 Luhan Aroshan
quite nicely. Gone all the way. So we'll bring you yet another match, the, the fourth and the final quarterfinals of this under 19 Division 1 TFP tournament uh, live from St. Sebastian's College Grounds. Between Mahindra College Goal and St. Joseph Pass College Wenapur. So the winner of that match will meet uh, Ananda College in the, in the semi finals. This match will meet uh, Dharmashuk College in the semi finals. So, this tier B tournament turning out to be an exciting uh, tournament so far. We've seen some uh, low scoring, pretty intense games. Oh, that's, that's good carry through to the wicket keeper. We didn't see this when. Uh, they were they were Patiraj bowlers were bowling the two fast bowlers were bowling, but uh, Randuru Ganganath and Nikhil from the two ends four easy path in the college they're getting good carry through to the wicket keeper good bounce off towards uh, the wicket keeper that is good to see because these conditions they aren't ideal for the fast bowlers but still uh, they they're getting some uh, hang out of these conditions which is good to see encouraging stuff for the faster bowlers. Was completed there near Pakaraj College 17 and losing the wicket. So, Easy Patra College, uh, the Bori Nikhil, Sahas Nikhil, and Randir Gaganath, they've done well. The, the two pass bowlers, six overs, uh, bowl three by each.
අපේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සිහින දකින්න තිබෝ පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල That's a good shot there from uh, Irush Katimira, and it will go all the way for the boundary. That is good from Irush Katimira, just uh, uh, getting that over pitch delivery over the head of uh, the field is inside the 30-yard circle for a boundary. Eight overs completed, 23 runs on the board without losing a wicket. Two openers, Irushi Katimira and Dean Patrapanka, going on nicely at the moment.
there we go as expected. So the skipper, David Dudik Pallo, will come into play. Asking the question. That's a good way to start off. Firing it in at the batsman. Bank of his 30 deliveries to get to his four rounds. Ten overs completed.
was completed. Debatraj College 24 without losing a wicket. And time for the lunch break. Now looking at the uh, the scoring rates of the two teams, uh, Debatraj College, uh, they've been behind uh, in terms of run rate, but they have lost a wicket under 52 runs to get. And uh, we'll see how things will turn up after the lunch break. Hiroshi Katimira, 17 of 26, and Dinta Prabhanga, 5 of 41 deliveries. Trying to build his innings and get to uh, that total of 152. Hopefully, as possible. So, we'll take a short break and we'll be back after the lunch break. Stay tuned. Opedarua, Jati Kandam, Nujanaker and a Krida Kikukaranata, seen the Takin at the Bopiani, in Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Karea, Borale, the Chan Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Pianaganda, the Chan Sports Borella. Darua, Jati Kandam, Nujanaker and a Krida Kikukaranata, seen the Takin at the Bopiani, in Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Karea, Borale, the Chan Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Pianaganda, the Chan Sports Borella.
ඔබේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සීන දකින්න දෙවා පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ ද චාන්ස් ස්පෝට්ස් වෙතින් වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න ද චාන්ස් ස්පෝට්ස් බොරැල්ල දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සීන දකින්න දෙවා පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ ද චාන්ස් ස්පෝට්ස් වෙතින් වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න ද චාන්ස් ස්පෝට්ස් බොරැල්ල
units are open, the batting pools for the college did well. On the the drums, the highest song score and pools for the college
ඔබේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සිහින දකින්න දෙමව පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල
Cricket.com, the leading stats provider for Sri Lanka's schools, cricket, men's and child, domestic cricket and everything. You can advertise with us. We're bringing uh, the live broadcast, the official broadcaster, Sri Lanka School Cricket Association for the season, for the 2020-21 season. So you can join with us, advertise your product or service with us for the thousands of fans who are joining us. Call us now to get your product or service advertised through our platforms, our social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. A misfield there inside the 30 yard circle. And just a single there. up in there, but just short of the field that will take a single.
got away quite nicely through the gap. We come back for oh, no, just a single. Good early call from uh, from Irushka. Once again, the captain, Hevidudi Kvella, has got the breakthrough for Isipatara College. Darshak Sandeep trying to just battle sweep it away, but uh, again, not much pace on the ball. Darshak Sandeep is gone for 7 or 14. Hevidudi Kvella, yet again, striking at the right moment for Isipatara College. He only played three matches, got nine wickets. Now, already two for 13 in 5.4 overs. This is really good from Tim to the Quella. Sandish De Silva, the highest uh, run scorer in the tournament, is out in the middle for Deo Patiraja College. He al already has a century against Dharma Shoka College, a half century against St. Servatius and Sylvester's College. So he's the man for Deo Patiraja if they you know, want to chase his target down 152 runs. Now that's a good shot. That's going all the way for a six. What a way to announce yourself out in the middle. The first ball. Pavan Sandesh. That tells you how good this player is. The form that he is in at the moment. The highest run scorer of the tournament. Jeevaka Sashin Rashmita is a new man in for 
Deva Patiraj, for Deva Patiraj College. The Ranjes already three down now, 55 on the board. 97 runs needed, 30 overs remaining. God, this is turning out to be a really good match. We've seen plenty of these close encounter matches throughout this tournament. That's the beauty of this tournament being uh, uh, divided into two as tier A and tier B. You see lots of competitive cricket from that. And that is good thinking from uh, Sri Lanka School Cricket Association to, 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 to divide this as tier A and tier B. It increases the competitiveness. These players have more exposure. That is really good. We're seeing the outcome of that as well. We've seen plenty of close encounters, low scoring thrillers. That gives the, the experience for these players. They get to know how to play in these sort of conditions, how to play under pressure, how to score quick runs, how to secure the wicket when needed, how to score runs in quickly when needed. That is really good. It is what these players should be exposed to. The highest level of school cricket, Division One. Cannot expect anything more from uh, from a player who's playing in the in the highest level of uh, of, of school cricket in Sri Lanka. Padraja College, Mirushka Timir is still out in the middle for 32 of 55, Chivik Shashin 104 and uh, Jeet Prabank and the uh, rest of the two batsmen got out with, uh, will return to the pavilion quite cheaply. Right, so 95 more runs for they were Patiraja College to win and to reserve their position in the semi-finals. And uh, East Patiraja College will need seven more wickets. So we'll see how things will turn out. We, the, the game is evenly poised between the two teams. Uh, scoring 95 runs in, in, in 29 overs might look uh, an easy task, but not against East Patiraja College in this turning track. They have really good spinners operating from both the ends. Fielding has been good. Haven't seen much of dropped catches or dropped chances by Zipatana College fielders. And especially with this, this, this guy. David Dekwala, what a player he's turning out to be as a batsman, as a player. He's, he's been a wonderful player for ages for, for Zipatana College with the bat, with the ball. Such a great player for Zipatana College. Now he took the responsibility to himself. He knows what his talent, what his talent is, yeah. how to how to deliver in these sort of conditions. And he got the breakthroughs. All three of them for Isipatan College, though he was not that much successful with the bat today. He delivered it. He he was excellent in the field. He was setting the example for rest of the fielders to. Field inside the 30 yard circle. Even with the injured arm, he's, he's, he's turning out to be a great player. And straight into the hands of the player, Tevidudi Kuala, fourth wicket for the skipper. 
of Vizipatana College. Now, Irish Katimira played so well. Just 50, 55 deliveries he faced, scored 32 runs. And he chipped one into there. Easy, easy catch for the fielder. That is a really disappointing end for a gritty knock from Irushika Timira. And uh, they are Patiraj College now slowly trying to paddle away from uh, the winning target. This is not good for Deva Patiraj. They need a partnership. Just one good partnership will do the job for them. This guy, Devindu Dikwell, a fourth wicket with just 20 runs. Timira come in the gone for 32 of 56 and the new man in is Sudhira Veera Ratna 19 years of age uh, experienced player for Deva Patiraja College and the job is simple now for for these two batsmen from uh, Deva Patiraja College they need to seek out Devi Dikwell because scoring against him is that easy. The ball is turning sharply and he's bowling in good areas.
three overs completed. Uh, Near Patadaj College 61 for the loss of four wickets. Eight runs on the board. One more ball remaining in this over. That's a good bit of, good bit of fielding. The deep third man region. Sitakur Kuna Vardhana continuing uh, his fourth over. Just five runs in 3.2 overs. Just a single door.
at the moment when he pushed the ball out of the boundary line he forced himself out of the boundary line he pushed himself and uh, i think he yeah he's okay but that's a valiant effort from the fielder a really good effort
tour was uh, done. Twenty-two overs completed, seventy more runs uh, needed for the Patraja College. Twenty-two overs remaining.
completed 87 for the last of four wickets. Now it's time for some drinks. Obe Darua, Jati Kandam, Nujanaker and Krida Kikukaranata, seen the Takin at the Bopiani, in the Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Karia, Borale, the Chan Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Mapianaganda, the Chan Sports Borella. Darua, Jati Kandam, Nujanaker and Krida Kikukaranata, seen the Takin at the Bopiani, in the Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Karia, Borale, the Chan Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Pianaganda, the Chan Sports Borella. Darua, Jati Kandam, Nujanaker and Krida Kikukaranata, seen the Takin at the Bopiani, in the Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Karia, Borale, the Chan Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Pianaganda, the Chan Sports Borella.
Sudhir Viratne, age of 21. Right, so uh, we're bringing you yet another live broadcast from Moratua, from St. Sebastian's College Ground in Moratua. For the final quarter finals of this under 19 Division 1 tier B
it's up in there. And it's dropped.
Patraj College at the moment going nicely, 103 for the loss of four wickets. They lost uh, uh, a couple of wickets in the middle overs in the uh, uh, over number from uh, 15 to uh, around 25th. But they came back strongly. These two batsmen adding up uh, some good partnerships here for their Patraj College. It's all they need: uh, one good partnership. They'll be home.
before they have Patraj College. It's Sudhir Viraratna has opened his arms to play that shot. So it's a mid wicket for a six. Moves up to 28. Just a single. College 115 for the loss of four wickets.
Sudhir Viratna, the senior man for the Patiraj College, 27 of 41 for him. Eight runs away from the victory there of Hathiraj College. And these two batsmen put out a half century stand for the sixth wicket for the Hathiraj College. So, uh, the Quell bowling is last over uh, from the far end. So this is the end. This is uh, his last over. And Bell with the, 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 the ball picked up four wickets. So Most of the bowlers were economical, but uh, they haven't been able to take a wicket. Yeah, we saw some prop catchers, yes. But it was the bowler who started off with the bang. See, his, when he started his bowling, the first three deliveries of his bowling spell turned out to be three appeals for the, uh, for the umpire. That's how good he did. change it's Nikhil who's who's gonna bowl from uh, the scoreboard end a fast bowler we saw uh, the Queller going for this uh, change before fast bowler and a spinner from two ends and now he's opted to go with Nikhil right 27 runs away from the victory 66 balls remaining we are in the 39th over four down at this stage, as you can see, Isipatana College 151, well ahead, but they lost 9 wickets. That's the main difference. Right. Can these two batsmen see through these uh, overs and get Nevapathiraja College into the semi finals of this tier B tournament? Jeevakat Sashin and Sudhira Viraratna, they will be the heroes for. Their Patiraji College, if they can get through these 27 runs and win the match. Right. Nikhil will bowl the 40th over. Driven away. Dark ball to start off. Not much pace on offer for both the fast bowlers in these tracks. It's all about uh, hitting the line. Right line and lens consistently.
ඔබේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සිහින දකින්න තිබෙනවා පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල
So there we go, that's the half century for Jivya Kashashin. What a good innings it has been. 50 of 83 deliveries. Three fours up to his name, but more importantly, it's been a wonderful innings. He anchored the innings really well and alongside Jivaka, Jivaka Shashin and he, alongside Sudhir Viraratna, he really took this game away from Isipatana College. Such a wonderful innings under pressure from 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 uh, from the senior man Jivaka Shashin. So that'll be the end of the over. 43 overs completed, 144 runs. On the boat, just eight runs away from the victory. Now, looking at the bowling performances, nothing much e instead of uh, Tevidu Dikpella. Four wickets for 28 runs. The captain coming into play with the ball in hand, but the rest of the bowlers were economical. That is because uh, the Dev Patiraja batsmen were very watchful in their approach and being able to take a wicket. See, Jivika Shashin, the, the beauty of his innings was. He came in when when the team was struggling a bit. They lost wickets in quick succession, and uh, and they were they were they were sort of under pressure. And uh, Jeev Shashin came in and coupled up with Sudhir Viraratna, and these two batsmen really stepped out of uh, uh, their comfort zones. They they started to accumulate top balls. They they were very watchful in their approach. They didn't take any risks until they were sure that uh, this is going to be an easy run chase for the rest of the bats and that is the good thing about this partnership and the half century for Jeevika Shashin. So a really commendable effort from uh, uh, from the, from this uh, batsman from Deva Patiraj College and uh, if, if Deva Patiraj College is going to go for the semi-finals then it should be because of this fine innings from Jeevika Shashin and of course Forget the spinners of the Akiraja, they will really well help them a lot when it comes to restricting Isipatana College for 150, 151 runs. You know, see, uh, Isipatana College, they were dominant force in the tournament, they won all of their five matches, and uh, but their batting was their strength. They, they chased down 200 plus scores easily, they scored 280 odd runs against uh, uh, Zahira College. So that tells you how strong their batting lineup is, but it just about identifying different conditions at different grounds it's all about identifying and getting adjusted to these conditions and here at DSNI college grounds the, the ball is sharp, uh, spinning sharply and the easy button college bats will identify it really well on how to approach these spinning tracks and all well, that's a good shot and uh, it's gone for six, and there we go. That's the game for Deva Pataraja College. What a win for them. Six runs needed, and Jeeva Kashashin just made it simple for the team. Through the covers, all the way for a six. What a great innings from Jeeva Kashashin. And we cannot forget Sudhir, Sudhir Viraratna as well. 31 of 52 deliveries. What a good innings from him. Gave the support for Jeevaka Shashin to, to play with, with, with his freedom. And that is really good to see from uh, from uh, from these two batsmen. A really good innings from Jeevaka and Sudhir. And they were Patiraj College. They are in the semi-finals. So they will meet Dharma Shoka College in the semi-finals.
There we go, the partnership, uh, that 94 run partnership between Jeevaka Shashin and Sudhira Veeraratna stands out from the dress 94 of 131. The 39 run partnership as well up front, the opening picket between Irushika Thimira and Dinita Prabhanka really set the platform for Deva Patiraki College to come in and chase down the target with much ease. Having a look at the Manhattan chart for Deva Patiraki College, Ratgama innings. Now, the period from uh, that 15 to 20 to 23rd over they lost a couple of wickets but after that they knew what their approach should be how their approach should be and they they, they played out really well and then uh, they got the runs that they needed in, in, in a successful manner so 152 runs on the board for the loss of four wickets in 43 43.2 overs with eight fours and two sixes and they were Patiraj college we now face dharma Shabu college in the finals Semi-finals, I beg your pardon. And the two worms, of course, uh, they, uh, they were Patiraj slow in their approach. Uh, they did the, did the work and uh, out front is the College with much ease. So DSN and our college grounds here at Colombo is the College. They won the toss early on, decided to bat first, and uh, they were bundled out for 151 for the loss of 151. In 39.5 overs, net Sara Silva 31 of 59, and Naveen Kanishka 23 of 38. With the ball, Irushika Timira was the standard performer as he took three wickets for 28. Sasanka Nirma 2 for 21, and Sudhira Viraratna also picked up two wickets for 24. Their Patiraj College chased down the target with much ease, losing only four wickets in 43.2 overs. Jeeva Kishashi in the standard performer, 56 of 85 deliveries. Irushika Timira scored 32 of 56. And Sudhira Viraratna also pitched in with 31 runs of 52 deliveries and one in four Deva Patanaj College. In terms of bowling, Temdu Dikwala was the only success for Isi Patana College in this, uh, in this quarter finals, picking up four wickets for 28 runs. But it was not enough as they only had 151 runs to defend. So Deva Patanaj College, they won by six wickets and now they will face Dharma Shoka College in the semi finals of this under 19 Division 1 tournament. 2020 and 21 tier B tournament. So with that, the batsman.com will conclude the live broadcast right here from uh, DSN and I College Ground. So hope you enjoyed our live live broadcast. The, this uh, quarterfinal number three between Isipatana College, Colombo and Deva Pataraj College. We have another uh, live coverage com coming out from uh, Moro to as well. The, the fourth and the final quarterfinals of this. Uh, tier B tournament between Mahindra College Gold and uh, Joseph Bass College. So, hope you'll tune into that as well. So, saying that, it's goodbye from DSN and my college grounds. <laughs>